everyone welcome in crochet life and stuff with Deborah with the Saturday vloggy thing yes made it to another Saturday almost done with the work day I'm on my lunch break right now as I record this so then I will be done and free for the rest of my little weekend and I see I've left my closet open again I'm a derp sometimes it's just gonna roll like that because that's how we're gonna do today uh, as far as the life and stuff it's just been busy with a lot a lot of work oh my goodness so much work so little time you know work really it doesn't leave enough time for crochet and everything else I can tell you that also keep in mind there's going to be either a slideshow of my plants at the end or there's going to be a separate short video of that at the end. I mean, not at the end, but I mean, erp, um, a separate short video. But at the very least, there is going to be a picture of my sweet cat boy at the end. So make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end for that, if for nothing else. Because I know Oscar is the one you really, really want to see. Uh, speaking of things you want to see, tomorrow, if you're watching this on Saturday, then it's a relative day okay but tomorrow Sunday is going to be the day that I draw for the crystals yarny chicken and crazy cat ladies celebration uh, for her reaching 1k that drawing is going to be tomorrow and my semifinalist will get sent on to crystal to maybe win the grand prize and there was a couple of yarn skeins that are sitting over there that are uh, going to be for that drawing for my semifinalist there you go also, in the world of winnings and things, I did draw yesterday for the winnings of my seasonings giveaway. Yes. So delicious. So delicious. Check out to find it if you want because there are three winners on that one. Um, recorded with much technical difficulty. You know, me trying to show the screen and the random comment picker. Eh, I did the thing. It wasn't pretty, but I did the thing. Yes. Wow, I'm trying to remember what else has been going on with life and stuff. I have my washing machine. That makes me very happy. Um, except for pretty much what I'm wearing and what I wore yesterday. Laundry is caught up. At least mine is anyway. Have you ever tried to go three and a half weeks without doing laundry? Yeah, I don't recommend it. I just don't. I mean, I have plenty of clothes. I actually have too many clothes. That's a problem. But ugh, I just, just don't recommend it yeah i have a pillow that i keep glancing at over there on the other side of the room that i really wish i could show it was a gift from a friend a year or two ago and you know that the style of keep calm and, and do whatever only it's pretty much one word repeated and it's a word that i can't say on youtube but it is actually my favorite word because it can be used in so many different ways the front of the pillow is black with those words. The back is beige. That's all I can show you. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Moving on to the crochet and, and more stuff, of course, as I think of it. I do have some little itty bitty finished objects this week. What? Yes. Um, the first thing was I was sitting there watching TV and I decided I wanted to make a scrubby for myself. And I have some cotton... Uh, this is from Mission Falls 1824 cotton. It's actually really nice cotton that probably shouldn't just be used for scrubbies. I picked it up at Goodwill though, and this used a very tiny small amount of it, but this is the label from it. No pattern, just round and bubbly bobblies. There, there's actually the front of it with all the bobbles. It makes a nice texture for a face scrubby to wash your face with. That's just something I wanted to do. And let me see if this has the color on it or anything, because it's all covered up by Goodwill's label. Can't see any of that. Hang on. I was looking all over this blasted label, and I can't find a color on there. But I do know that I picked it up in August of last year. That's how long I've had this yarn. and just not touched it. Um, there was some that was already started crocheted on it, a couple of rows of something. When I bought it, it was wrapped up with it. So I frogged all that out. Frogs nicely, by the way. And, uh just started playing and I did that um, something else that I've done while watching TV Ooh. sorry yawning I'm doing a lot of yawning because of work um, you ever worked with this rebound yarn 
it is a lion brand rebound and the weird thing about rebound is it is stretchy af okay i got this yarn from crochet every day with judy i won one of her giveaways and this came in one of her giveaways and it's really cool and colorful it wouldn't center pull though it is wrapped so tightly but maybe not maybe it just expands now i'm going to show you let's see if i can pull a little bit out to give you a little demo of just how stretchy this is okay i am just on this blue part it changes color pretty quickly That's how much that stretch is. It has so much stretch. Now I was trying to figure out what I could do with it because I've only got the one ball um, to make good use of it because I'm, I'm going to use it. I'll use all of my yarn eventually. Yeah, there's a lot. But I did make some things. I make hair scrunchies. I made three completely different styles of hair scrunchies out of the same yarn. One is just, you know, when you don't want a lot of floof and frill, you just want a kind of a covered scrunchy thing. A little bit of color, but not much going on. See, like that. I made that one. Easy peasy, right? The next one is one that sort of ruffles. That You get that by doing, um, you do a single crochet all the way around on the, on the elastic band. And then you do three, I did three half doubles in each stitch to get that little bit of ruffle. You can go bigger and get bigger ruffles and stuff, but that's what I did there. And I just dropped it on the floor because it stuck to my skin. Such problems with my skin lately. Ugh. Eczema. Um, the last one that I did, well, the last one, the last one I did this week was this. Just wanted to get it up close to show you all of these little loopy loops. And the one thing about this stretchy yarn you really don't have to worry about anything getting caught and not moving and having to pull because it is all stretchy. And these long loops, that is 10 chains between each one, each stitch. But it's fun and it's loopy. And if you have a big wad of thick hair, yes, you have all of this sticking out over it. If you have to double it up like I do on my hair when I use a scrunchie, you get all those little loopy loops sticking up. And I just think that's really cool. But that's just me. Maybe if somebody else doesn't like it. By the way, this uh, comes from a pattern from Crystal Bag a Day. And I love it. I just don't wear it enough. There's that. Now, what else have I got? Oh, I have one more sort of... It's, it's, fin it's a finish for right this minute, but it's part of a larger project. There is this square, this very colorful square. This is going along with the hashtag rock 2022 AU make along that's going on with Judy at Witch Peace Crafts. And this make along, you make whatever you want and you're to be inspired by the album that she shows or the album art or songs on the album whatever it's all about these rock albums that are getting pulled and it is so cool she has got such an extensive collection and um this one was for oh my gosh oh <laughs> i almost forgot roberta flack and her album cover feel like making love and it was very colorful and there was you know some running water and some flesh tones and just some white from the clouds and i just took colors from the album cover and kind of put them on here all of mine are corner to corner and it's going to be a big stained glass looking blanket at the end when i put it together because i'm bordering them all in black most of this is a big twist joanne's their their house bargain yarn and there's some that some other scraps that i had like this is the uh heat wave yarn um I'm trying to think of what else I had. S something else in here was just from a scrap ball that I had that I got from Goodwill. So yeah, you can use this kind of thing as a scrap buster and just kind of gathering all the things and making them. Oh, oh, on the scrunchy note, um, Karen V. Miguel is going to be having a crochet along on fr Thursday. Maybe it's Thursday. I forget the day. I'm a doof. Look at her site. I'll have her linked down below and up above if you get the cards. Um, she has a free pattern for it. And yes, I know. It's in black and white. It's what I've got, y'all. We, we use a laser printer at the house. Blossom Scrunchie. Yeah, I love making hair scrunchies. 
but yeah it's going to be a crochet along the pattern is one page should be easy to do it should be fun to work along i went ahead and got the pattern early i'm not going to be able to crochet along because i will still be at work of course but uh it'll still be fun to make something that everybody else is making just kind of a cool time and karen v miguel is a sweetheart check her out definitely i have got for my main whip this week because i have worked on nothing else really except work is my temperature blanket y'all it is coming along okay last night i actually had to sew on the row that i just finished each of these rows are 19 squares across it's going to be 20 squares in length but if you multiply that out that is not the perfect number for the number of days in a year what i have done is to make it all balance out i have one square for the year that's 22 i know my numbers are wonky y'all just bear with me okay and i'll have a number for each start of the month that's a one for january obviously uh do, 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 do. where is February there's my two for February and over here somewhere is my three for March and you can see we're getting warmer y'all I've had to put a lot of purple in and it's gonna be okay I'm gonna add a border to it as well afterwards and it's gonna be like I said 19 squares wide 20 squares long and I am kind of loving it. I love the way the colors work together. I purposely made the seams where you can see them, where they are definitely bordered each and every one. And this actually, last night I was finishing this up, stitching this all together. I have to make a square for April to start the month. And then I will do the first of April square. I usually do it at lunchtime, but at lunchtime right now I'm recording this. So I'll do it a little later today. Also, I have like three filler squares throughout the year. One, you know, one every now and then to make it balance out right. Because I didn't want to put, when I was designing it, I didn't want to put the four for April right here at the end of a row. I just didn't like that. So that's why I have, I decided to just do random top stitching and a random design to fill a space. I was fiddling around with it the other night and that's what I came up with. It's better than my numbers, Okay. To, to push that over so that the fourth month will start at the beginning of a row instead of uh instead of at the end of a row so there you go i mean right now it's just a kind of a cool looking scarfy thing fashion or not or not <laughs> oh my goodness oh something else with life told you i love to cook um i also love to eat Okay, there is an uh, a, an all recipes magazine flip through coming up tomorrow, or you know whatever you watch it, it'll be there. It'll be there unless YouTube you know goes kablooey or something. Um, the hubby this week took some king oyster mushrooms that we had left, uh, cut them up or ripped them up or whatever. Now king oyster mushrooms will actually end up having the texture of chicken, and he uh, tore them up, seasoned them put a little bit of cornstarch on them to give them a little cr crispy crunchy on the outside and did a shallow fry of them. So we essentially had fried not chicken strips and we, we made them in a sandwich. He caramelized some onions and we had some peppers with it. Y'all, it was so good. We made these little sandwiches with a bunch of cheese on it. It was just really delicious and I just wanted to brag on the hubby. That's usually the hand that you see. Um, occasionally he'll show his face. He did give me a little, little peck on the cheek. Um, when I did a live this past week, yes, I did a live. It was a short one and I was, you know, trying to make my face melt with peppers. So there is that. Uh, <laughs> thank you for putting up with all this craziness. Uh, just to let you know what's coming up in the future, besides more life craziness, um, my birthday is in June. No, I'm not begging for gifts or anything. There will be giveaways are on my birthday time. Still not sure exactly how I'm going to do it. I'm off that whole week of work. Yes, an entire week off. What? I take my, my birthday week off every year ever since I've been able to do that. <laughs> that is one of the small perks of being an adult is you can schedule vacation time usually. That That's my gift to myself. But that'll be happening in June. 
Uh, I know that's kind of far off, but you know, sometimes we got to plan for far off things. Something else that's a little bit far off. My dear friend, Ms. Lisa Ladybird from Ladybird Loves, and I will link her thing here, here, down below someplace. Um, she has a big potiversary coming up in July. And for that potiversary, if she hits 2,000 subscribers, she is doing a really, really big giveaway. It's going to be cashy money or, or, you know, cashy PayPal or cashy Amazon, however that's going to work. But it's cashy money, okay? Um, if she makes it to 2K. She doesn't make it to 2K, that big cashy prize, it ain't happening. It is multiple hundreds of dollars, okay? Yes. So, why am I telling you this? You need to go over there, make sure that you are on that wheel. There is a specific video, which I will link down below, up above. It's called The Race to 2K. You'll know it when you see it. And you enter there. By entering, you're just basically logging in, doing the thing, leaving a comment. You have to make sure that you are publicly subscribed for almost any giveaway that people are doing in this community. You gotta be publicly subscribed. We have, th this is for our subscribers. We have to be able to see that you are subscribed to us, okay? Um, and you gotta spread the word. Bring some friends along. And what you do is, when you go there and sign up on that video, you tell her that I sent you. That gives me an extra entry too. If you say, hey, you know, Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah sent me, or you can just put DE-BRA, it's a joke from her lives, Debra. That's what she, there's so many Debras in the community that she started calling me Debra. Um, you could say that. I sent you. That gets me an entry, y'all. I want more entries on that wheel, okay? I want to win some cashy money, too. Um, but get your friends to come and do it, too, for you. You can get more entries, too. Now, you get an entry just for going there and, you know, leaving a comment on that video. Perfect. You get an entry but you can get more entries for doing more of the things. All right, plus we gotta get her numbers boosted up. If she didn't hit 2K by the time her potiversary comes around, that is all going to be null and void and moot. I shall still have other giveaways. There's a humongous box of yarn that is coming in that giveaway. She's adding to it in her lives. Y'all, sometimes she has challenges like, okay, if we can get this live up to however many likes, we add these two balls of, of yarn to the thing. What? It's already a huge box. It's going to cost her a small fortune to ship it from England to wherever it goes. But that's what, what's happening for her anniversary coming up in July. So be sure and do that. Be sure and tell her I sent you because I want more entries. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I hope y'all are having a wonderful weekend or a wonderful week whenever you're watching this. Thank you for spending some time with me today. If you're not subscribed already, I invite you to do so. That would be awesome. And um, hopefully I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.